Their expert, Dave Nussbaum, and we're moving away from that controversy, but staying on the 4th of July theme, a lot of folks are going to be heading out tomorrow. They're wondering what this is going to look like. Are we going to get rain? Or are we just going to be baking? Uh, this time of year, you know it's going to be hot and humid, but usually we so have yes, rain. We're baking. So we're definitely be baking out there, but I think it's going to be a fairly dry, but very hot for this time of year, hotter than normal for us. So if you like the heat, Perfect weather. There's, be. there's people for that. <laughs> yeah, there are. Right now, though, not so hot out there. When that's okay, a little break in the heat. Hey, we'll take it out there. A lot of cloud cover at the moment, and you can see not really much in the way of rain. A couple sprinkles have been coming in from these clouds, but not a lot of rain at the moment. 87 degrees, our temperature do point down a little bit to 71. Still feels like 93 out there with a northerly wind across the area. North of Lake 84 to 87 degrees with some cloud cover there. Gulfport's actually our hot spot now at 89 degrees with 85 in Bell Chase and home with some rain. 77 degrees for you. It does feel like the lower to mid 90s across the metro area to the North Shore right now. Not too bad, but could get up to 100 degrees briefly before some rain starts moving in. And there's feel like temperatures not bad. Lower 90s to upper 80s as we go throughout the evening hours. Air temperatures should get up to around 90 the next hour or so. But notice our chance of rain starts increasing 40-50% out there, then tapers off to just a few small showers possible as we hit throughout the rest of the evening as temperatures dip down into the mid 80s. Right now, live radar is showing a little bit of light rain here. Heavier rain kind of working its way just off to the south of us from the Galliano area back to the uh, Gulf waters there in town. Some of the light showers coming through Metairie, Kenner area back to Harahan, Wagaman area back over toward Luling. Just some light maybe raindrops coming in. Nothing significant with this right at the moment. A couple light showers over the West Bank too. A little your downpour from Grand Isle stretching back over toward the Buras area. Galliano going back toward Homa. You had some of the rain coming on in, helping to keep your temperatures there in the 70s. Chauvin included in that as well. And kind of working its way further to the south there in the Gulf waters. More rain here trying to work its way north. We're not really having a lot of success out there. Even with the heating of the day, you'd think we'd see a little more thunderstorms popping up. And gradually, this will work its way northward. Just not expecting a lot of rain. I think the better chance of rain is going to be on the south shore today versus the north shore. As high pressure kind of sits there to our south, also to our north. And helping to kind of prevent most of the rain from going too far north across the area. Even though it's very humid, the atmosphere is favorable for rain developing. We're not going to see a ton of it today, about a 40% chance. 30% tomorrow, then look at that. For the 4th of July, Thursday, July 5th, Friday, not much rain. 10 to 20% chance at best before a little more rain returns for the weekend. Precision cast does show that rain out there through 1 o'clock, sneaking on into town here roughly between 2 and 3 o'clock. But notice, not a lot of it makes its way up here. Most of it stays down along the coastline through 6 o'clock this evening. And then as we head on into the overnight, finally the clouds kind of thin out a little bit before thickening back up tomorrow morning. Mix of sonic clouds tomorrow too. And we'll see some of those scattered showers and storms redeveloping with the heating of the day on Wednesday and that sea breeze kicking up. And they're out of here by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It looks pretty good heading on into Thursday morning for the 4th of July. Maybe seeing some light fog near the Baton Rouge area. But then by the afternoon, one or two showers. That is about it for your 4th of July. That means a lot of sunshine out there and any kind of rain we do get. The few and far between showers, they're out of here by 9 o'clock just in time for the fireworks. That ridge of high pressure in the eastern part of the Gulf will sit right over top of us heading on into Thursday and Friday. And what that'll do is bake us with highs in the mid 90s and the feel like temperatures 105 to maybe as much as 110 degrees across part of the area. So for the 4th of July during the day, light winds out of the south at 95 degrees out there. There's feel like temperatures again lower to 100s and the chance of rain very small, only about 10%. So not expecting much out there. Looking at the tropics now, no development expected the next five days. That's some good news. Not worried about that little cluster of thunderstorms over the western part of the Gulf of Mexico. Eastern Gulf Caribbean looking good with high pressure there. An old front kind of in the open Atlantic. Nothing to come from that. And the open Atlantic here pretty quiet too. All thanks to all that Saharan dust. Another batch coming off there. The plume heading right toward our area as we get into Thursday. So not only are we going to have the heat and humidity, but hazy weather out there. Worse, this actually will stay into Houston as the bulk of it traditionally does. So they're going to have some really uh, hazy weather out there heading on into Friday and into the upcoming weekend. And in the Pacific, look at this. Hurricane Barbara, winds of 130 miles per hour. Category 4 storm will be pretty close to making it to Category 5. Staying out here at sea, though, and it should be weakening over the next couple of days, too, after it gets to about 150 or so miles per hour. So Pacific's getting a little active, but the Atlantic's still very quiet. And I'm okay with that. I'm sure many of you are as well, too. So 92 today, 93 tomorrow. Again, the 92 probably more on the North Shore than anybody else. The mid-90s Thursday and Friday, and we stay hot into the weekend.